Let's go back to Sky Fox. We are live over this three alarm fire at the Levittown Lanes Bowling Alley in Levittown, Bucks County. Been going for at least an hour and a half now. Fire crews from all over the area being pulled in to pour water on this inferno. We're going to go to Steve in just a moment. Um, but again, let's go to the maps because some of the closures right now, we got New Falls Road, uh, Penn Valley Road, and right up the street is Penn Valley High School, Pensbury High School, excuse me. Pensbury School District sent out an alert to the parents, transportation issues trying to get to the school. Also, uh, smoke has been seen for upwards of 30 miles away. Some of the folks chiming in. Um, Mama Pat said she'd been uh, bowling there with her husband for well over 30 to 40 years. She even invited us over for dinner as well. Somebody else also mentioned the lacquered floors could have something to do with it. And then one other issue I want to talk about right here. We got an accident eastbound on the bypass at Route 322 and SEPTA for the third day in a row running with delays on the Market Frankfurt line. Now let's go back uh, to the fire scene. Steve Keeley is live right out front of the bowling alley. Steve, what do you got? Bob, we have moved right to the front door, and a sad sight. You see the uh, owners uh, all lined up across watching this uh, close, but uh, probably at a safe distance that they would be moved. Uh, but one of the expert veteran firefighters that I work with constantly over in South Jersey not only sent me pictures all the way, the smoke over his firehouse in South Jersey, but telling me that, quote, bowling alleys are dangerous. Any significant fire means a defensive fight. That means from the outside and far away only, they're not going to dare uh, risk their lives going inside. And most have what he called bowstring truss roofs, uh, kind of like what you mentioned earlier, Bob, uh, these rooftops uh, that have like that arched roof like you see on gymnasiums. And they are a major collapse hazard. He mentioned uh, a fire back in 1988 at Hackensack Ford killed firefighters. And that brought changes to all fire departments, how they fight a fire like this. And so you can see the one part of the roof left is right where we are at the front door. And there is a sign right above this fire engine, number 10, that says Levittown Lanes. And you see band box. It looks like this was a place maybe they had live music uh, in the pizza pub and pin sign. Uh, but very sad to see the old folks, older folks there who are likely the owners now um, standing watching this and seeing what's going on. And uh, we can see through the smoke, firefighters high up on that ladder. And it is bitterly cold out here this morning. Everybody's shivering. Uh, anybody that gets any of this water that's coming off in a mist on them, immediately your skin freezes on surface. And I'm looking down now, a lot of the hoses for about a half a mile, um, we're springing leaks, and you can see even there's water falling anywhere. Uh, people walking up to the scene to get a look are getting a drenching, and you don't want to be wet in this cold. And this shows you uh, how these firefighters not only put their lives on the line, but also their uh, health, immediate health on the line, as they uh, might have all the equipment in the world, but a lot of that water gets down into your jacket and makes you super cold, and uh, you're putting uh, the uh, safety of everybody around here and trying to save property in, a, in front of whether you're cold and shivering or not. Greg, come on over where I am and you can see this, uh, get an idea here on the ground that you probably can't see from the air. Look at all those firefighters just in this one shot on this one side and they are on all four sides and it is thick black smoke still coming out the front door. Just a moment ago, we could see the front door, and now you can see how the smoke's going right into the faces of these firefighters from Levittown as they are putting water everywhere they can on this, but this thing just refuses to go out right now. And from the air, whether the smoke is not as black as it was an hour ago, it is still very thick, and it's actually breathable right here better than what it was when we were like a half a mile away because that smoke's blowing along the ground in a lot of spots and making it hazardous. The uh, local high school has already put out an announcement uh, to the kids uh, and to the parents that uh, school will be delayed a lot, at least getting to and from school in the Pensbury uh, High School area because of this fire where a lot of the school buses and the moms and dads who drop their kids off and the kids old enough to drive themselves to school normally would take. So they're rerouting buses and then we just wanted to get that word out to anybody who already doesn't have it. So there you go, a major fire at a big bowling alley. And uh, you can see the family right here all huddled together. They like obviously uh, would like to know how this happened and what happened and they'll probably aid in the investigation as soon as the fire is out, uh, whenever that will be. Guys?
Yeah, a lot of people uh, watching the show this morning have been to that bowling alley mm -hmm. after all these years. And Mary Ann wrote, uh, she keeps t talking about it. She lives in Levittown. Obviously, you can smell the smoke, see the smoke. Uh, it was a fixture, something called uh, Moonlight Bowling, every Saturday night. Wow. Maybe a little tradition up there. And That's I also sad. got a text, um, so high school bowling team, they used to bowl there. Sure. And she's saying it's sad because all the memories... A lot of people are thinking about all the memories they've had. I mean, mm -hmm. this place has been open. Wouldn't someone say more than 40 years? It seems like it was more than 40 years ago. Wow. I thought maybe longer than that. Uh